internet this is ada and we are doing another mount skin dye video where we're going to do all the colors now up on the screen as you can see it's going to be the um the hair and what so this one's kind of old um this is from the original skin set of the 30 pack and what i really liked about this mount was that so this was before the branded that you can make this look branded. This actually is the way that I've had it for quite a while. It's on my Necromancer, um, who I kind of leave in Ember Bay. So I try to do like this purple branded feel, but here is what the base looks like. It's actually this blackish red color. And so, like I said, this is like the most versatile. And the reason I'm doing this one is actually, it's my favorite. And I got, um, I started to do a lot of those unlocking dyes from the, um, the garden plot. And I thought, you know what, let us go and dye my favorite, um, mount. Okay. So here's a close up. Now this is my guildie, uh, guru. Thank you, guru. Thank you, guru. Guru! <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Guru's my husband. So he kind of, kind of was like, ah, and what he noticed first off was the crazy eyes. Now I didn't even notice the crazy eyes. Um, I always notice the tail first. So this is just a close up, you know, one of those things that you, it's really hard if you don't have someone who also has some out skin, um, to do. So here it is. It has gray feet um super ashy you can definitely see the the face all the little things and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fall off a cliff so you can see the special give me a minute because i'm gonna turn off the sound now don't worry i fall off the cliff several times um so i'm gonna slow it down a lot we, we found out was um with my legendary on you actually see that streak a little bit so you see how it's spinning that green color that's actually in one of the squares the uh yellow is a different square so you can definitely make the special look really good but i always you know getting people to fall off cliff apparently is my thing so thanks guru for falling off a cliff with me and so just to get another uh way of looking at it i have guru jump up and I'm gonna be underneath, so I'm gonna leave the sound for that on also. Okay, so now I've slowed it down. So you can definitely see the little sparks going around. You definitely can see <laughs> Very disconcerting to have a, a flying bunny coming toward your head. Um, but yeah, no, it looks really good. I mean, you can definitely see all the little effects. You definitely can see um, getting on the mount and getting off the mount. You can definitely see the special. But let's get into the meat of this. So each square. So I make everything white and then I'm going to get one square and I'm going to describe it. So the top right... The, I call it the second square. It's just the belly and a little bit of the feet. So it actually makes it really hard to die because it's doing the feet at the same time. Now this is the bottom left. It's going to be the face. It's gonna be a little bit of the ears. Um, the bottom right is probably the biggest impact. It's gonna be the this thing in the back. It's gonna be the tail. So I always try to choose it like a two tone because then you can easily see it. It also does the eyes. It has the elbows. It has the feet. It looks very, um, it has a lot of movement. Um, it, it kind of reminds me of the Exo Griffin with that ripple. If you haven't seen that, I'm going to put a link to it in the card up there. But here it is, all the crazy stuff. So I picked, you know, pink and a green and a blue and just try to show it off um, just so that you can kind of get an idea of, you know, where the squares are. And then I'm going to get into the coloring. 
I always try to start off with the purple because I love purple, but it's also at the bottom, so it just makes it easier. And what I found was that for most mount videos, you can usually match two colors and you definitely can do it in this one. Um, and I would recommend doing it in some way. Now the monocone color, so everything like a different shade of purple definitely works, but I think a contrast color works a lot better. I think having a lighter color for the fur makes the anything that you choose for that bottom right pop out a lot more. I tried doing a green. I got this really weird combination. It looked like puke, necromancer, fractal, tree thing. It was just so weird. It was just like, oh my gosh. Um, and it kind of really depends on like what you're going for. <laughs> See, there's the screen. <laughs> It looks like the plague and, that, and maybe that's maybe that's really really good. I'm just setting my making sure that it's on the highest thing. Um, you definitely could do a darker color for the for that belly color. I tried doing a red. I don't know. I tried like that face like the yellow on the on the face mask. It's just maybe too much for me. Um, the tricolor, so like if you did a a green, a yellow, and a purple, or a green, a yellow, and a and a red, or like the blue, purple, like the complementary colors work really well. I tried just doing something outrageous and it seemed it really seemed to work. Um, that blue, yellow, and red. I ended up getting a lot of new dye. I'll make I'll put that in the end card. All the dye that I've unlocked, I was using that garden mount. So then I tried doing the whole like, I didn't even try to do like a white bunny. Like I didn't even, I wanted, it looks a little better with like a slight color tint to the fur. Um, and then I'd go back to the purple. I tried doing orange off screen and it just, it didn't work. So I just, I'm cutting it out completely. So I wanted to focus on the purple because that's what I had. So in the beginning, and I'll put this in the beginning, um, in the description that I'm trying to do a branded bunny with this. So I really wanted to like get a little bit of gray and I actually end off going to the branded crystals and, and Corteria because that's where I think like my necromancer really belongs. It's like that role playing thing. But let me know, uh, if you have a if you have a mount that you want me to dye, I will definitely try to make a video for you. Um, I am gonna try to do all of them at one point, unless of course there's another set, in which case I am doing that first. <laughs> but um, yeah, I read all the comments. I absolutely love getting the comments either on Discord or on YouTube. Now, if you notice, I am pausing. Um, I'm making freeze frames for all of those static pictures. That's gonna be in the description. So if there's a color combination that you see, I am gonna put it as a still. Uh, also, I'm gonna write um, the point of interest that you can go to to get trade contracts, but more importantly, to get those pulsing, um, I think it's called like branded sparks or something from the Path of Fire chests. Those are decent rewards. Also, you wanna leave a level 21 character at a jumping puzzle for the Silver Bullion. I'm one of those people who, it doesn't matter how long it takes to get the gold, I'm more about doing it daily. So like doing stuff every day to make like 10 gold or 20 gold here and there. That's more my style, so if you um, want more guides on how to make money, I'm gonna send you over to Sam and I'm gonna put that link in the description also. Thank you. And the reason that I'm picking Sam over doing my own, I mean, I definitely could, but most of my information is actually coming from Sam. He's a YouTuber. He's been making really good content for a while. Um, I asked him about that garden plot. I don't know if you guys saw that video. But if you have the garden plot, you can unlock specific dye. It's called um, un, it's like unidentified dye on your account. And so I asked him, okay, I said, I want to get the max amount. And he said, put this in the API on the wiki. It will tell you all the dye that you need. And then get all that, 
and then use your special thing. And I got really good dye. I got springtide, terracotta, evening, violet, uh, and iris. Where did they come up with these names? These weird names are weird. Anyways, um, and then I got some other dye. So thank you for, for all the help with dyeing. Yay. Um, I don't know if, I mean, I guess that's my long-term goal is also getting all of the dye, but I am going to, um, try to, you know, show off when I, when I do do these unlocks, I might do it like once, once a month, but yay. I do read all the comments and I love getting all the mail in, in game. So thank you guys. Um, I can't think of anything else. I guess I should put all this back into my, my bank it'll be like another month before I can get more and that's gonna be it for the primal hair mount adoption license skin dye video um I'm gonna put a link to the playlist along to Yuri the um the artist who is also doing mount dye videos with me thanks guys Ada out I'm gonna read for the first time tomorrow wish me luck